Affairs of Qatar and United Arab Emirates, and of course the Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council, to hold the sixth ministerial meeting on strategic dialogue between uh, the Russian Federation and the uh, Gulf Cooperation Council in our capital. It's the second time Moscow hosts an event like this. The previous event took place in 2016. After that, we held our meetings in the regions. Over 12 years after this format was launched, strategic dialogue proved as an efficient mechanism to exchange opinions on key regional and global issues on the path of development of economic and humanitarian cooperation between our countries. I look forward to today's summit. It will give additional impetus to strengthen cooperation of Russia with the member states of the GCC. Our multi-layered relations continue to develop consistently, which is proved by the increased dynamic of contacts at the highest and the high levels. The tone is set by the regular trustful dialogue between the President of Russia, Mr. Putin, and the leaders of the GCC member states. And as for me, I appreciate the close contacts with you, dear colleagues, and close cooperation along the lines of our foreign ministry is playing an important role. I remember fruitful discussion during the fifth ministerial meeting in Riyadh that took place on July 1st in 2022 in my trips to Bahrain, Oman and the United Arab Emirates. Obviously, the fruitful war negotiations during your visits to Russia and our discussions on the sidelines of multilateral forums in the third countries and traditional meetings with the GCC three countries in New York. Russia and the GCC states have everything we need all the mechanisms to resolve all the challenges that we face to promote mutually beneficial partnership and to put it on the systemic and strategic foundation. The foreign ministries and the business circles of our countries make consistent steps to expand economic ties. Despite the difficult geopolitical conditions, we managed to sustain the posit positive dynamic of the mutual trade the trade between Russia and your countries increased by more than 6% in comparison with the previous year and exceeded $11 billion. Obviously, attending this meeting, we have the same numbers, but the general trend is positive. And as for some reserves that still exist in the bilateral economic relations, obviously, during today's individual meetings, we are going to discuss it in more detail. I hope that during the plenary session we will be able to discuss all the challenges the Middle East is facing, including the strategically important area of the Persian Gulf. We will also speak about the collective security system in the interest of the efficient counteracting numerous challenges and threats. And after that, we also plan to talk to the media. We welcome them here as well. And uh, I would like to invite my Omani counterpart and the Secretary General of the GCC to participate in the press conference. After the talk to the media, we will continue the exchange of the opinions in our conversation at the working breakfast. The joint statement will be adopted after our summit. I would like to thank our experts for their work on this statement and also their work on the joint roadmap of action. I would like to give the floor to the Omani Foreign Minister that is chairing in the Gulf Cooperation Council, Mr. Albu Saidi, and after that I would like to give the floor to the Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council, Mr. Jasim Albu Daivi. Thank you for the attention. Esteemed Mr. Lavrov, Foreign Minister of the Russian Federation, your ministers, foreign ministers of the Gulf Cooperation Council member states. 
Here, Mr. Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council, everyone attending, I would like to greet you all. And in the beginning, Minister, I would like to thank you for your greetings, for your introduction. And to explain Moscow today, we hope that this summit will make contribution to the deepening of mutual understanding between us on various matters and various topics and it will consolidate our bilateral relations in all areas and in all fields in economy and politics and in culture we will be able, we will be able to talk about the climate change issues renewable sources of energy and other global issues of mutual interest the member states of the gcc highly appreciate the position and the efforts by the russian federation in regards of the palestinian issue and we would like to reaffirm the central role of this issue and strategic importance of its resolution it's one of the main problems that cause instability in the region. There is no doubt that we would also like to express the fact that the violation by Israeli towards the Palestinian is of uh, big concern to us and it of great regret to us we support the efforts to achieve fair and co comprehensive resolution to the Palestinian problem, to achieve just peace based on the two-state solution and with the consideration of all other international law items in regards of the Palestinian problem, which will allow us to create an independent Palestinian state with the capital in East Jerusalem, within the borders of 1967. We are monitoring closely the developments in Sudan, in our brotherly Sudan, and we express our deep concern regarding the humanitarian situation there and the security crisis there. We reaffirm our position that it is important to use dialogue to resolve all crises to join our efforts and to unite the Sudanese people to preserve the statehood and to resolve the conflict without any interference from the outside. And today, today we would like to reaffirm our stance on how important it is to preserve stability in Yemen and to support the UN efforts to achieve political settlement of the Yemeni crisis with the participation of all the Yemen, Yemeni parties and in this regard here in the Gulf Cooperation Council we resume the support to the reaffirm the support to the current presidential council in Yemen and we support the aspirations of the Yemeni people towards peace and stability in their country that have to be achieved by dialogue and we will also like to help to re-establish stability in the country. The continuing conflict in Ukraine is a challenge towards peace and security. We believe that there should be a peaceful solution to this conflict, and we reaffirm the importance of resolving the conflict by dialogue based on international law with the consideration of the interests of all the parties and the principles of the good neighborliness, uh, sovereignty and independence of the country, of the countries. The GCC is also supporting every effort to achieve peace. We are willing to build bridges of cooperation and dialogue between interested parties to achieve peace and to restore the stability and prosperity to implement all the hopes of the two peoples and uh, the entire region dear ministers we are meeting now 
when the global challenges are increasing and there is a lot of uh, political instability in the climate change but at the same time uh, there is also a number of opportunities for positive changes that positive transformation that we must not ignore we must support it we must try to put it in life we have very positive vision of what is happening in our region in the Gulf region we held a successful expo in Dubai World FIFA World Cup in Qatar in Saudi Arabia is hosting the Formula One competitions and other major international events and the UAE is preparing to host conference on the on climate COP28 that is going to take place in November in Dubai Qatar is preparing to host the Asian Cup in January 2024 all these events reflect the openness of the Gulf countries for cooperation and partnership with the entire world and we aspire to attract investment to the region to facilitate the development of tourism trade economy we hold sport and cultural events and as you know your ministers and everyone attending this meeting our region is going through significant uh, changes we are restoring relations between Saudi Arabia and the Islamic Republic of Iran Iran is our neighbor a neighbor of all the GCC member states we lived shoulder to shoulder next to the Iranian people historically for centuries yes certain political differences we're standing in the way of developing cooperation between our countries but as recent agreement showed it is within our force to restore the relations and to work on strengthening cooperation and the principles of good neighborliness and coexistence these positive changes strengthen our abilities to consolidate regional cooperation and its foundations they restore mutual trust and we understand that Russia has vital interests in this region including and in developing logistical routes expanding trade and economic cooperation via us and with us to reach Africa and Asia via our region we welcome this kind of work and partnership with the Russian Federation and we hope that this will lead to the creation of the better prospering future better stability and security uh, political events and economic developments in the Persian Gulf region are focused on lasting respect for the sovereignty of the countries firm respect for the law we can we think about good neighborly relations dialogue and we are open for a cooperation and for the attraction of using mutual efforts to achieve this there is no doubt that it should become a key factor to development of the economic cooperation and to prosperity for all dear ministers in conclusion I would like to use this opportunity to thank the Foreign Ministry of the Russian Federation Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council for their efforts for preparing this great event and I would like to express my gratitude to the friendly Russian Federation for their welcome for their cordial welcome and hospitality I would like to wish every success to our today's meeting today's summit which will help with the prosperity of our people which will bring the prosperity of our peoples closer
in the name of Allah Almighty and Merciful, dear ministers, Minister Sergei Lavrov, dear ministers of the GCC, member states, everyone attending this meeting, I would like to greet you and I would like to start by thanking the government of the Russian Federation, our friendly Russian Federation, for their welcome and hospitality. I would like to thank my friend, the Foreign Minister of the Russian Federation, for his personal attention that he is paying to us today during this event, which reflects the great relations between our Russian friends and the Gulf countries, everything that is connecting the Gulf with the Russian Federation, historical ties and relations, is the result of the efforts by both parties to ensure that this goal will be possible. Also, within the context of this ministerial meeting, it is already the sixth meeting on the strategic dialogue between the GCC member states and the Russian Federation. And we are implementing the instructions given to us by the leaders of the Gulf countries. We are strengthening cooperation and ties between our countries. It's in the interest of our peoples to achieve our common goals. Your ministers, there is no doubt that our today's event is taking place at the crucial time for the entire world when we can see the events unfolding that are viol violating, disrupting stability and peace across the globe. We see how important it is to resolve the problems via negotiations, via dialogue with diplomatic means. We reaffirm also our respect to the sovereignty of the countries, to the international law and all the norms, all the international norms that help to preserve stability in the world. Dear ministers, the main testimony to the great relations between our countries at the Memorandum of Strategic Cooperation signed between the GCC and the Russian Federation in 2021. The relations between Russia and the GCC are strong. We are keeping it strong for in the interest of the people of our countries, and we plan to continue to strengthen our cooperation to pursue our common interests. Dear ministers, today we are not talking about some concrete fields of cooperation. All the fields are vital to promote dialogue between us trade, economic cooperation, security cooperation, energy, political dialogue, all these fields are important. There are other important areas where we intend to continue cooperating, such as cooperation in education and culture, to familiarize ourselves with the culture of our countries. These component of our cooperation is also very important and additional contribution to our general cooperation. I'm, I'm happy to say today that our relations are developing. We cooperate greatly within the OPEC Plus format that helps to stabilize the markets and stabilize the energy prices. And we reaffirm how important it is to adhere to the agreement assumed by obligations assumed by all the parties to, for the global economy, for the interests of suppliers and of consumers. Dear ministers, there is no doubt that the Russian-Ukrainian crisis influenced had an impact on the entire world. And since the start of this crisis, GCC countries were standing, were making suggesting an initiative to bring countries closer together. We were making trips, we were holding meetings with the representatives of the both parties, and we are confident that the solution must be peaceful, otherwise it will have a negative impact on the general situation and stability across the entire region. 
that's why we would like to reaffirm the position of the Gulf Cooperation Council in regards to this crisis. The GCC stands on the Russian-Ukrainian crisis is that it must be resolved based on the UN Charter and international law with respect to the sovereignty of the countries, to the preservation of their territorial integrity and non-interference in their domestic affairs. The GCC member states shares all the efforts aimed at resolving the crisis via dialogue. The humanitarian aspect of this crisis is of vital importance. The GCC countries are interested and in extending the grain deal and in seeing the Russian and Ukrainian grain supplied by the Black Sea to diminish the humanitarian consequences of the crisis and to react to the food challenges, to respond to the food challenges. We are grateful to our Russian friends for extending the agreement, the grain deal that helped with the situation with the grain supplies to the global markets. And in conclusion, I would like, as a citizen of a Gulf country, to reaffirm that the GCC countries appreciate, highly appreciate our cooperation with the Russian Federation and aim to implement our common goals in the common interest of the Russian people, friendly people to us, and the people of the GCC countries based on the mutual respect, respect for the principles of international law. We believe that today's meeting is going to facilitate this, help with this. Thank you very much. Now I would like to ask our friends from the media to leave us. We will see you soon, very soon. Afrique Media, le monde, c'est nous.